Continuing our conversation about what this franchise is going to do with the quarterback situation. Is it Dwayne Haskins Jr.? Can Kyle Allen lead this franchise to where they want to go? And just what can we expect of Alex Smith and his miraculous return? Here once again is Joe Theismann, Mark Rippon, and Jason Campbell. So Kyle Allen comes in, and one of the reasons that this staff brought him in is because he knows their system, although he didn't have much time with the personnel. And each of you know what it's like to have to come in midway through the season and take over and the challenges of that when you don't have all the reps with the ones. Joe, what, are, what can we expect from Kyle, and what really should we expect in trying to sit here and say, okay, again, it's a win now, but you haven't had much time with the team at all? It's, it's, just, a, it's just a comfort level in the system, Julie. You... You know, you get the plays out of your mouth. There's no hesitation. And not to say that Dwayne didn't do that. It's the same system that all of us ran. We all played under Coach Gibbs. It's a numbering system. You know, the single digits, the single receiver side gets the first digit. The middle digit is the one that refers to the inside receiver to the two receiver side. And the outside receiver gets the third digit to the two receiver side. It's the same kind of system we all played in. It's very, very quarterback friendly. Actually, it's very player friendly when it comes to bringing people in and asking them to play. I really think for Scott, it's a question of knowing a little bit of what Scott Turner wants to do with Kyle. And Kyle understands now, okay, Scott called this play. And this is so this is so critical. When a coordinator calls a play, they don't just call it. There's a specific reason. Say they call a, a pass, a long pass on third down. Well, if it's gonna be fourth and two, they're thinking about trying to pick up the first down on fourth down. Or when they call the route, they want you to take a look at a certain spot knowing that there's another one built in if you get a different look. Those are all things that, that Dwayne did not have the opportunity to really learn from Scott, and Scott hasn't learned what Dwayne can do. Now, with Kyle, it's a different story. He's had him. He's seen him work in practice. I think his anticipation in getting the ball out of his hand will probably be better if he gets time to be able to throw the football. That still remains, I think, a question. And uh, these next couple weeks are going to be great challenges. I mean, you look at what the Rams did up front. Those guys up front have got to make their mind up that they're not going to get pushed around and bullied around like they were against the Rams. So, Jason, what does Kyle need to do in order to keep the spot? Well, he's got to continue. He got to play well. Uh, you know, he's he's right now. He understands that. Hey, everybody should be put on notice right now. Be honest, Julie. Like. You know, no one should get a hall pass. Uh, you know, if you're going to treat one position in one way, then you got to treat all the positions that way. And and I mean, from top to bottom, because if you look at defensively, you know, they've been giving up so many big plays. So some guys have got to be called in the office and they've got to be challenged as well. And uh, and I'm pretty sure Cal, he, he knows the button because he understands the guy that's right now behind him, Alex Smith, you know, is being talked about in Washington. And, you know, I'm pretty sure that he kind of knew that they want to probably get to him at some point. You know, we've all played that position. We kind of, we feel things. And uh, and for him, you know, it got expedited a little bit yesterday for Alex. I think they wanted to groom him a little bit more. But in the NFL, things happen so fast. Changes happen so fast. And, you know, for Allen, what helps him is being in that system last year. What people don't understand about that system, that system is designed for to hit those deep in-cut dig routes, those deep 20 to 18 yard comebacks, those deep post routes, those go balls, those and then hit the running backs out of the backfield. That's what that system is about. And we haven't seen any of that in the first four weeks because a lot of that is predicated on pass protection. And, and, and then hopefully at some point they get to the point where they say, hey, you know what? We need to share up pass protection so we can stretch the field a little bit. Calling plays is an art. It's just like Joe said, you're calling something to set up the next thing. You call a play in the first quarter to know that you want to hit a play action pass off of it in the third quarter to get on top of a safety. You want to see how he reacts to a certain formation and a certain play. So he's got to find his rhythm and he's young. This is his first year doing it. So Mark, look, you, when you came in, you had to rotate games in, games out with Doug Williams throughout the entire season. Like what is the challenge for your mindset when you know that the changes could still keep coming and the jobs may be, you know, not necessarily yours for the lock? Well, I think be, a lot of things are based on, um, uh, are you making the same mistake over? And for me, for being a young guy, uh, I know that the switch and the plug was pulled a little sooner uh, than having a veteran like Doug, you know. Um, they like the fact that I made big plays. I think in, in Kyle's situation here, the advantage he has is 
that he's worked uh, consistently on um, down and distances, uh, tendencies of the defense, um, situation stuff that you know you, you you practice or you look at on film and you practice during the week that prepares you for that. And then it's a matter of making plays and and not taking a third and four where you've got the opportunity one on one and a guy in a scat route or or uh, you know a, a quick out and take a look at a at a go route and throw it over the guy's head when you got the first down and move the chain. So there's a lot of um, you know there's a lot of growing pains as young quarterbacks that you understand. The bottom line is still wins and losses, you know, and I have to say, you know, even though my little nephew, you know, he had some hiccups and made some plays uh, when it came down to the end, you know, he found a way to get it done. And that's what Kyle's got to do. And that's what Dwayne's got to do. And that's what Alex and all of us as quarterbacks have to understand we have to do is um, we got to find a way to win. It's not easy to win the NFL. And uh, you know, I just I think he does have a, a bit of an advantage because he has been in in uh, the system that that allowed him to, to be successful. By the way, props to your nephew, Brett, by the way, with the Denver Broncos playing QB. Um, good lineage there. Wow. I mean, this story. I, I don't know that any of us would have thought that he would actually play a snap again. Joe, you especially. You went through a gruesome injury. I know exactly what he did. I know exactly what happened to him. And his was so much more severe 